Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to Spice Channel TV. If you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. On today's news report, P2B reacts as naked Nasawara women stage protest over election. The Labour Party presidential candidate P2B broken his silence after women from Nasawara State protested over the outcome of the March 18th governorship election. Recall that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Governor Abdullahi Sili, uh, Suli, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as the winner of the gubernatorial elections. Angered by the outcome of the election, the women took to the streets to express their displeasure, saying that they don't, uh, saying that they didn't vote for uh, Abdullahi. The women frowned at INEC's declaration of Abdullahi as the as the winner of the election, when there was contention in the result that emanated from. Gayam and uh, Karoma electoral wards in the state capital. In the video, some of the women wore black while protesting, as others stripped completely naked and bitterly expressed their displeasure. Reacting to the development, Peter B. Vi, his Twitter page, described the situation as heartbreaking, stating that women who should have been respected and honored have been degraded. The former governor of Anambra State further reiterated his comment, his commitment, pardon, to having 40% of women in his administration, adding that the country must ensure that the people's mandate is not stolen from them. He made this known through his uh, official Twitter handle when he said, Oh, I came across a very sad and uh, heartbreaking video where Nasawara women were seen. They staged they, they stage a protest and they were not wearing any clothes. And they, they put it as a means of registering their displeasure with the election result. As we all know, the purpose of election is for citizens to participate in democratic governance through the representatives they elect. A grievous injustice occurs when the citizens are denied the opportunity to vote in a free, fair, and a credible process, or if their mandate is stolen from them. And are women who should have been honored and respected and their rights protected have been degraded and they are left to seek justice the only way they can trust, by calling on their creator. I remain committed to 40% affirmative action for women in political appointments and will encourage the same in the corporate world. As a nation, we must do better and ensure that the mandate of the people is not stolen from them. Guys, this is coming from no other person than uh, Peter B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, who had reacted, you know, he made it quite clear that the video he saw online, which trended online, where the Nasawara uh, uh, state women were seen, they were protesting. Most of them who wore black, why some, you know, were seen naked. They were protesting and shouting, calling for INEC, that INEC must see to their cries and pleas because their mandates have been stolen from them. The person that they voted for is not what they are seeing. And Peter B has already assured the women that uh, he would include at least 40% into his administration. He won't leave the women behind. He must include them into his administration. And he has added that he will make sure that in, in his own administration, people's mandates will not be stolen from them again, but has, however, condemned what INEC did in Nasawara state that these women had to stage a topless protest where they were seen naked and they were trying to just register their grievances, their displeasure with the election result. And they had made it clear that uh, 
their 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 votes was taken from them in fact their mandate was stolen and all but Peter B has assured and encouraged that when he is president he would do something about this and how and has however stated that he remains committed to 40 percent uh, affirmative action for women in political appointments in his own administration so my wonderful people what are your thoughts concerning this i'm dropping here guys kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section down below thank you bye for now